Alrighty, friends and neighbors, we are going to do a flat screen, a flat spline. It's a flat spline. A lot of people's nemesis, not Mr. Window Screen. I learned the hard way how to do this. All right, so let's do the flat screen. First, it helps if you have something like this. Okay. T-shirt can activate. Then you put on gloves because you don't want this hook to go in your hand. Not like the glove is really going to help you that much, but it doesn't hurt. T-shirt cam, activate. T-shirt cam, activate. All right, and then you get one corner started. You get the hook underneath there. And, ta-da, secret number one. You get this or something similar to go in there and pull it out. And it's important to take note this side here has a higher lip than that side here. And it's going to want to go back in that way. No matter how much hard you try, it's going to want to go back in that way. Me, me, me. T shirt cam, activate. T shirt cam, activate. And we don't want no pizza alfredo. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to. People, when they take these out wrong, they can't get them back in because they turn into fettuccine alfredo all rolled up. I said pizza alfredo. Pizza alfredo. <laughs> fettuccine. Actually, they look more like egg noodles, they get so rolled up. So, when you know how to do things, it makes it a lot easier. Watch out, this bugger doesn't fall off. Start on the outside. If you know you're going to do this job, order this on Amazon. It's a screen spline removal tool. And it's good to have the, around the house because eventually you might have a use for it. So, believe me, even for me, it's much harder without this tool to get this out. You've got to use a five in one and try sliding it on an angle. And I mean, you can do it. Just having the proper tool always makes the job easier. Dun, 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 dun. Then at the end of the job, show you how to unlock and release this in and out of the door. I don't know what the make of this door is, but I think it's Anderson. Not really sure. Another good way to not hook your hand is never have your hand behind the hook when you're pulling it. You know, you don't want to be pulling like this common sense stuff that you learn the hard way. Do, 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 do. Okay. That's done. Now we get handy dandy knife. You sure you don't want to put it on top of the tin? Now nah, we'll make it happen on here. Come on. Yeah. Yes, I don't feel like pulling the whole table up. Okay, I got this. Yeah. All right. Go a little bit more. Keep going. I'm going to come and cut it off. Okay. Tell me when you're good. Okay. I'm going to keep this pinned down. Okay. Watch anything you don't want cut off. Watch my TV. Oh, boy. Knife, back pocket. 
make sure the blade is in. Make sure the blade is in. Okay. Pizza roller, activate. Pizza roller, activate. Pizza roller. All right, so when you're doing your screens, it's always a matter of good practice to square it up so that you could see. Let's, let's do it the left side. Ready? Go for the left side. It's good to line it up perfect along one side so that you know that your tension is going properly. Um, nah, this is going to go in like nobody's business. The spline is nice and flat. All right, so you start in, if you're right-handed, you start in the right-hand corner. Then you press this in under that lip. Press it in under that lip. Then you put this just behind. There's another little tiny lip right here. Just behind that lip and push down. There you go. I just heard the lock and clip. That's the path to righteousness. Okay, there we go. There's no need to rush on this. Definitely need a little bit of a feel. There we go, that, that guy's happy. So just, you stay ahead of it, and you keep that guy there, and you listen for that snap to continue, where you can feel it happening. Just roll with your pizza roller on there. This is not literally a pizza roller, by the way. Some folks will be taking their pizza roller out of their kitchen cabinet. This is a screen roller. Also, order one on Amazon, pick it up at Home Depot, whatever, but I can't even imagine trying to do this without it. I mean, I think I could, but you'd have to have something and rub it really hard in there, like burnishing it in there, and that would not be fun. Pizza roller, activate. You know what you're doing, sending videos like that you too? Giving away our work. Yes. Yeah, okay. Please, anybody that wants to do this themselves, they're not calling us to do it. They can find out afterwards that it's better to call me anyways. You're giving away your jewels. There it goes. Oh, I just heard a crack. Heard a snap. Snap, crackle, and pop. Okay. That's in. And you should feel there should be a consistent bubble along here of the screen. Because I'm going to go make tension at the other side. So you install one side, and you go to the other side. Now here we go. Hello, I need the short one. I need the short one. Okay, this is where it's helpful that you know you started off with your screen straight, so you come over here and you make sure you're straight again. All right, let's get this dude over here. Slide into the end there, throw the door open. There you go. What do you want? Just hold it. All right, here we go again. Big corner goes in. The more raised ridge goes in. Oh, great. Somebody's calling, messing up my video. I'm not answering it. So you're just going to have to leave a text message. Probably bill collectors. Bill collectors. I got no bill collectors. That's, thank God for that. I got a beautiful. I got a piece. It clicked. You can some. You can't always hear it. I felt it. Pizza roller activate. Okay, now, this is where some skill comes in. I mean, it all takes skill, but there we go. You got to keep a little bit of tension, but not too crazy, because, yes, you can put this in too tight, and then you start deforming the frame by making it like an hourglass. It starts bending in on the edges, and that's not good. It looks funny. It doesn't fit back in the frame properly. How's our tension? Normal. You want to keep a nice tension so that it's flat. 
There we go. If it's happy and it's going in nicely, go with it. How's her tension up there? It's good, Mr. Ganderson. Okay. Or should I say, Mr. Window Screen? Yes, Mr. Window Screen. It's Mr. Window Screen. Mr. Window Screen. <laughs> That's what I'm going to put as the title of this video. I'll put the picture of the Mr. Window Screen superhero. All right, here we go. Then, then you pick a side. Actually, it's better to pick a side. When it's short. I, I noticed that already because you got a lot of stuff to pull. Yeah, you have no idea what's last, going on over there. Last time I do this side and that thing was so short. Yep. On the other side. See, I'm learning something. Uh-huh. This is Mr. Window Screen's sidekick. La... I am the grasshopper. No, you are La Mosca. Oh. The mosquitoes. All right, here we go. So you watch that this stays consistent. If you got to pull it that way, if you got to pull it this way, you make sure it stays the same. It's important your material stays straight. Otherwise, you get to do this twice because the tension gets weird or it looks all wonky and tight in one area, loose in another. See, look, it's creeping because when you're putting pressure here, it tries sucking the screen in this way. So you make it go where you want it to go. Nope, don't let it get too long. Getting hand cramps is normal. My hand is locking up already. <laughs> he looks just like Mr. Clean. Oh, bald guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Popping out over here. I hit the stick. Oh, yeah, we're ready for a break. My wrist is killing me right now. Even with my superhuman strength, my wrist gets sore. Ah! Oh. Mamma mia! It's all right. We got an equal-sized bubble over here. I know it's straight because I was looking at it over here, and it's not straight. Pull this one now. All right, you ready? Wish they made these tables a little bit wider. I know. It'd be nice if it was 36 inches wide. It's Can you order one? Crummy thing. No, there's none. There's none? There's none. you got to build it. You know how heavy it would be out of plywood? You wouldn't even want to take it in and out of the truck. It'd be such a pain in the neck. Can you make one out of fiberglass? Yes, we'll do that. Make sure you pull it, Jim. I got some tension. I know, but look, feel the corner, though. And I haven't even pushed it in yet. Once I push it, it's going to make that much more pull. Okay. And you keep the tension. You're going to pull your tension kind of on this angle. You want to feed all of your... You want to feed it all up that way on an angle. And then sometimes you got to fix the corner because you get a little more tension. And then it starts. You'll see when I get there. A little bit of tension this way. How is it? Too tight or okay? How bouncy is it over here? Okay, we don't want it too tight. Just, just flat. We're just going for flat. We don't need a drum because that'll bend the frame. And that's a no bueno. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my God, my wrist.
Đó. See now once the tension starts kicking in, it doesn't want to go under there as easily. Why are you scaring people? How are we supposed to get screens when you act scary? Dude, this area here is not it's acting. Not it's not behaving. We're going to have to... It's not going in. Now I'm rolling right on top. Now I'm rolling right on top of the ridge. That sent it in. Okay, that made it go in. I'm on top of the ridge now. Actually, it's working nicely going on top of the ridge. I always roll on the other side, but... You can go on top of the other side? You can go on top of the other ridge to push it down, but it kind of abuses this a little bit. Mini, mini, mini. Look, we got a weird tension situation here. Oh, it's there. Okay. You have to pull a little more. These are definitely not easy. Definitely. Tell me about it. Will you spoil your hands? I wish. It doesn't want to. I don't want to start. No, no, no. That's right. Where is it anyways? Oh, it's, it's way over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Where is it? There's the weird stuff. I gotta get all the way to here. There. That's it? A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. This is where the tension all comes in. You think I'm giving away all my secrets. Even with the secrets, this is not easy. This is where people get frustrated and they're willing to pay. They're willing to pay because this... that fixed? Yes. yes, okay. Here we go again, back on track. Back in the saddle again. This is pushing a little bit that way. Good tension? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got a little loose right there. That's what I said, how to pull it. That's within tolerances, I would say. That. Okay, here we go. And that's where you this is the place where you roll over your thumb. Okay, good. Alright, now you go to the side. And you look down it. Looks nice and flat. Alright, let me cut this in real quick. I 
got some nice in my pocket. Here we go. All right, hold this thing from falling off. Cause it's gonna work. All right. When I use a knife, that's all the point I stick out. Because you could get hung up on something, cut your screen, and then you will be practicing all of your curse words if you cut the inner screen. And it's time to be patient and start over. But who wants to test their patience? Here goes the flat spline install. We're almost there. And then putting it back in the door, that takes a little knowledge also. Sometimes people that even own these doors, they're like, I can't get it out. I don't understand how it comes out. It's like this Rubik's Cube thing. You gotta push one switch up and then lift the handle and remove it. show you in a minute how it comes in and out. Actually, I was thinking of making a new channel, the Mr. Window Screen channel. I think this will be the very first video for Mr. Window Screen channel. Bim, 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 bim. Watch how fast that. you are, sure. Come on, man. Are you better? Dude, hit something on that. It's going to give me a... Hello? Hello? Rosales, yes. That's me, Morales. I don't know who that is. All right. Go ahead. Step away. I got this. And along the way, it's not it's not unusual that you got to check how your spline is set. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's not unusual that you got to touch it up. Yeah, you just make sure all of this is set. It's all part of the work. I don't know why they made a flat spline on this, what their idea was for that, but very difficult to work with. It works pretty good. I mean, the technology of it's all right, but it's not homeowner friendly. This is definitely not homeowner friendly. Because number one, you can't just do it with household tools. Not easily anyways. And even with the proper tools, it's still a bit of a struggle. And you can't rush it. You cannot rush it. It takes the time it takes. And then you got these little annoying threads that you gotta cut. And the customer comes home. Corners acting up. I got to make sure that's pushed back in. There, just heard that snap.
yelling in the sun. It's starting to get warm out here. Hey, how are you? Now we inspect. Slide your hand along, you can feel if something's wrong. You feel a raised edge. Notice there's lock-in clips on one side and the other side doesn't have it so you go and find those clips and you put it in and here they are they're on this left side right there boom I need both of my hands, so I can't get too fancy right now. first lift that button lift this handle so you lift this button and you lift this handle and that goes in there you line it up nice and nice and shazam she's in straighten out your bar without getting in trouble okay and there you go that's your completed flat spline window screen. You're welcome.